I think the conclusion we should have all come to by watching me try to solve a physics problem that a physics person tried to give me that doesn't understand computers is that I shouldn't be solving problems by myself. All computer programs, programmers work with like a person, right? They have team coding and, and that's for a reason because when you make a mistake, you need someone next to you to be like, actually, the, the hashes do go that way. You were right before. Don't fix something that's wrong. Um, and that's why I should have computer people to talk with me. Um, and if I'm president, will I be sitting there going, I'm so confused about how to secure data on the physical layer and what it means to be the physical layer because what is the physical layer? And then you suddenly realize that that physical layer is connected to the operating system's physical layer. Well, the, the operating system's code and that operating system is really what is determining where the code can be located. And so, um, yeah, I, I, I think I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I was wrong no matter what on the blockchain paper. And that's a good thing to learn, but you only know it. Like you can only like fully understand why um, the ordering of the data does doesn't make it more secure if, if you're a super operating system person unless you are not confused and anyway so that's not what I'm talking about all I'm saying is I shouldn't be doing stuff alone and if I'm in the White House you know what you know what um, is basically happening all the coders are doing stuff alone and you don't understand how important the coders are um, and how, how important it is to be able to understand certain technical things like I said um, we, 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 we all have all, everyone in the cybersecurity community has sat around talking about how, um, a worm that hacks every computer in the world could destroy every computer in the world. And, and, and once you realize it, like I'm talking about erasing all the data and then everyone would go, thank God I have backups. No, they wouldn't because people don't have backups, but I'm just saying that sort of thing could happen. And if you want someone that can handle incident response on a world level, Pick me for president. If you want to have someone that will understand economics from a not our enemies messing with the United States economy perspective, pick me because everyone goes, no, he's smart. He went to Harvard. Who does he represent? Who are his real business interests? She's smart. She, she did this. Who are her real, like, how did she get to where she is? Who's backing her? And all I'm saying is the people that are backing me are not trying to make money off the government. They're trying to make sure the United States economy survives. And the people that are backing me are people that understand cybersecurity problems. They actually understand that somehow Microsoft is actually better. And I'm sure some people will never believe me. And it's like, I don't even know if I believe me because it took them that long to hack my Mac, which I don't even know if they hacked my Mac, but I do know that I changed my password. Rule number one for cybersecurity, you get hacked, change your passwords, all of them apparently. So I need to go change all my, my entire house's passwords. But um, it really depends on if they can get that. It really depends on their skill level. But some of us are dealing with very skilled hackers, and I'm just saying, if you vote for if you vote for me, you're 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 you are you have no idea how much protecting the computer network is protecting um, your computer. And um, do I know what ARP tables are? Of course I do. Um, or I mean, um, like I, I do know. I know. I I am pretty sure the DHPC. Ever, DHCP server does do ARP, um, but that's not that's not what I'm talking about. I'm, I I think I don't fully understand like why like the like the role of deploying a DHCP server um, or like doing ARP at the virtual machine level. So I mean I do understand it. I just I don't explain. I'm not very good at explaining stuff, and I sound like I'm stupid. And um, yeah. Anyways, so. Um, Vote for me. Seriously, it's coming up. They they didn't the the poll the last poll before Iowa doesn't show up because they don't want to show a poll with me not on there, and then I win the whole freaking thing. Wouldn't that be crazy? And then tomorrow, what am I what am I gonna do? I'm gonna. Well, wouldn't it be the day after that if I win Iowa? Then everyone's gonna want to work for me, and then I'm gonna have a job, and then I'm gonna like. I guess pay for my own food instead of my mom paying for my food. <laughs> and I'm going to go shake hands. I don't know. Do I have to, I don't think I have to travel that much to run for president. Like I can do a green campaign like I'm doing right now.